And if you dare to listen to the voice of love in community, then you will discover very quickly that you send out to minister. Community is not like a safe little home where, where you can just hide out for the world. Jesus calls the community together to be sent out into the world and to proclaim good news. He went to the poor, to the sick, to the dying, to the little ones. Our dear friends, I cannot tell you enough how, how the final voice that calls you the beloved comes from those you care for. That's a great mystery I want to tell you this morning. I'm living in a little community where people are very, very, very handicapped. Some cannot walk. Some cannot talk, some can do nothing. We have a house, we have 15 houses, but in one of them, there are four very handicapped adolescents. And we need at least 10 people to help them live. And they need us. They need us to live while they cannot do anything themselves. And still, I tell you that these poor people are the life of our community. And these people who cannot talk, who cannot speak, who need to be fed, who need to be moved from one place to the other in wheelchairs and all that, these people are in fact the ones who give us life. They are the ones who God has chosen to speak his word of love to us. You remember in the Beatitudes, you remember what it says? Blessed are the poor. Blessed are the mourning. It does not say blessed are those who care for the poor. It doesn't say blessed are those who console the mourning. No, no. The blessing is located in the poor. In these people that we want to help, we will find that they carry the blessing in their heart for us. For us to live. I tell you, I wouldn't even be standing here today and saying these things with so much conviction if I had not all these wonderful people who are so broken to send me to you and say, Henry, go, go to Garden Grove and speak. We love you and come home and tell us how it was. And some cannot hear it, but can feel it. I want to be touched when I come home. And they give me life, they give me a sense of God's presence. And I want to tell you that they who I go to to minister to are the one who carry in themselves the blessing. And the blessing is you are my beloved, on you my favor rest. I hear that blessing coming to me through those who are weak, through those who are poor. And you know who the poor are, you know it. They might be wealthy, but they might be still poor. And I want you to realize that you and I are called not just to communion and community, but then to go out and minister. And to trust that those you minister to will lead you closer and closer and closer to the heart of love, to the heart of God. That is the great joy that I want to, to, to announce to you. And to, for you to, to trust. Because once you are in deep communion, with the poor, you will able to discover your own poverty, your own weakness, your own brokenness, and not be afraid of it. You will discover, yes, I am poor too. The handicapped people I'm living with make me so aware of my own limitations. But the voice is saying, don't be afraid, because I love you right there where you are poor too. And so we become, in a way, a fellowship of the weak, where the power of God's grace can manifest itself. 
So, keep some space for God's voice. Some space by praying alone. Some space by forming community without possessiveness. Space by going out and, and going to those people in your own family, on your friends, in your own city, who need you. They don't just need you because they are needy, but also they need you to give to you their blessing. And trust, dear friends, trust, 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 that God really wants you to claim your truth, that you are the beloved sons and daughters of God. Let us pray. Oh God, help us today to, to welcome Jesus in our life. The Jesus who we meet in our own family, among our friends, in our cities. And truly believe that as we reach out, we will discover that Jesus is still among us. Still smiles at us and still gives us his blessing. Bless us today in each one in this congregation, in each one who, who listens to the word of God. And let something really new happen among us that comes from your life giving. Thus we pray. Amen.